The first thing you're going to want to do is go to support.spatial.io in your browser and in the search box type in skybox and go to the creating a skybox article. We're going to be working out of this article because there's a few links we're going to need. This first one, you're going to want to go to it and download the file for your respective uh, machine. Take note of that little message it gives you. Um, and then you can open up the installer. Drag the icon into your applications folder if you're on a Mac. And then go to your applications in Finder, double click on the application and it might not let you open it the first time. So then right click on it, click open and click open. And then you're in. You can set this window aside for the moment. We're going to go back to the support article. Now we're going to download the 360 photo sphere. You're going to click on the link and then cl just click the download button. And then go back to the article, the support article. Now you're going to open that download, double click the folder, and then double click on the single side.zip folder and open the folder it creates. Now you'll, you'll see three files. And it's good to note the difference between the single side skybox and the double sided skybox. Now it is time to actually capture your skybox. So you're going to go to Google Maps, you're going to find a spot that you want to capture. You're going to drag your little street view guy to the appropriate spot that you want to capture. And then all you're going to do is copy the link in the browser. Go back into that application we downloaded earlier. First, I always set the save location to my desktop and then paste the link into that box and hit download. And you'll see that it'll add a file to your desktop, streetview360.jpg. Now you're going to go back into the folder you downloaded from Spatial earlier, delete texture.jpg, rename your skybox file to texture.jpg, and just throw it in there, go back to the support document, click the last link, and drag and drop those three files onto that web page, and it will give you your skybox file. Next all you got to do is go into your custom environment on Spatial, drag and drop that skybox file into spatial let it upload and process and note this can only be done in a custom environment so once it's in click on it click on the set custom environment button and hit set as skybox and you're done you have now successfully Set a custom skybox for your custom environment on Spatial. Now you could do this for any street view location on the planet Earth, which I think is pretty cool. Now you can also download skyboxes from websites like polyhaven.com. Go to Assets, HDRIs, and find a skybox that tickles your fancy. Click on it. Click on the three lines next to download so you can download the JPEG. Just make sure it's under 60 megabytes. It'll pull up the image in a new window. And you can right click and hit save image to downloads. Then we're going to take that file and put it on our desktop for ease of access later on. And we're going to go into the 360 orb files that we downloaded from the support article earlier. You're going to go in and delete the texture.jpg file and replace it with your downloaded skybox and be sure to rename it to texture.jpg. Then you're going to drag those three files into the GLB packer and you'll have your skybox file, which you can then upload into spatial. And once it's in, do the same thing to set it as your skybox.
Now, if you wanted to clear the skybox, you can go to your settings environment and then clear skybox button. Now, if you've uploaded your file to your spatial account and you go into your spatial account on your VR headset, the same file will be there in your content menu. And you can load it in, play around with it. And if you hit the custom environment button, you'll be able to set it as the skybox in your VR headset as well. And it looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. So have fun making custom skyboxes.